Hello, everyone. Good day. Hope you're having a great weekend. Welcome to Verbling. Hi there, hi there. I am Teacher Oakley. And for the next hour in this class, we're going to continue our ongoing, although intermittent, <sighs> series on United States states, of which, of course, most of you probably know there are 50 states. Today, we are going to talk about Hawaii. That's right, uh, otherwise known as the Aloha State. Uh, does anybody, can anyone tell me what Aloha means in Hawaiian? First trivia question. Uh, okay. Uh, Hawaii, of course, is very unique in the United States because it's a, a chain of islands, a group of islands in English we refer to as a chain. Actually, not only is it a chain of islands, it's a big chain of islands. <laughs> it's really quite huge. Uh, hundreds of islands, actually. We, we normally think of just a few as Hawaii, but actually there are hundreds of islands and it stretches, this chain of islands stretches for 1,500 miles or somewhere around about 2,400 kilometers. Uh, Saiban, how are you? Hello. Welcome. Fine, thank Saiban. you. How about you, teacher? I'm doing okay. How are you? Oh, I am feel homesick, teacher. I... This is terrible in here. You know, you 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 live in foreign uh, foreign country. Yeah. Uh, maybe you are you are <laughs> you are familiar on this, but I, me no, I am not familiar. I felt homesick every day. Mm. I really miss my mom, my father, my family. <laughs> I can't I can't stand. But what should I do? I should. <sighs> I don't know. Do you uh do you have a chance to talk to them, like on Skype yeah, or? Yeah, yeah yes, where we, my, you know, believe me, teacher, my my family, they call me every day. They call <laughs> me every That's day. Nice. It's it's like a class. <laughs> they call me every day by ver uh, by Viber, uh, uh -huh. Skype, and as you know, it's very easy today to right. to be. To be in touch, teacher. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I, 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 as you know, I'm an American, but I live in the Philippines. But uh, I have a different situation. I, I think I'm a bit, I'm a bit older, and also my family, my grandparents have passed away. My mother and my father have passed away. So I, I don't, I don't have those ties so much. But yeah, but, and yeah, I have a family here. Here's my. I, I have a wife here and two children, so there you go. Go get yourself a wife. <laughs> oh, teacher. Uh. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that's, okay, anyway. Okay. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, I, I, oh, yeah, I don't know what to say. I should have a family, too, in U.S. Uh, there you go. There you go. Okay. Uh, welcome, uh, Abdul. Abdul, hello. Welcome to the class. Hello. How are you, sir? I'm doing very well. Thank you. Uh, where are you from, Abdul? Uh, I am. I currently live in California, but basically, I'm from India. Okay. All right. Are you homesick? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know. You don't know. Come on, okay. yeah. Yeah, you can know. admit it. We're, we're yeah, uh, looks like I'm an American living in the Philippines. You know, uh, Saiban is he's he's uh, Kurdish, but anyway, he's he's over there in Pennsylvania. You're living in California from India. We're all we're all expatriates here in this class. 
That's what it looks like. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Okay, but actually, you know what? Our topic for this class is Hawaii, where, strangely enough, many expatriates from other countries live. <laughs> By coincidence, uh, many uh, Asians and Howleys or Europeans that are from different places live in Hawaii, which is what we're going to talk about. Uh, uh, so today we're going to take us to Hawaii, huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Abdul, what do you know about Hawaii? Uh, i never been to Hawaii, but, uh, uh, you know, the way they advertise the state here, I mean, it's feel like, you know, like beautiful state, and especially, you know, when, when you got to see the trend, you know, like, on vacation, where the rich people usually go, you know. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if you if you look at the, if you look to the trend, you know, like usually, you know, uh, our president, you know, if if he wants to go on, you know, vacation, so usually Mr. President go to Hawaii, you know, to spend vacation, you know, over there. So <laughs> sounds like a good place, you know. <laughs> yeah. Do they do they advertise for uh, Hawaiian? trips, Hawaiian tourism in California a lot. I, I lived in California geez, uh, 20 years ago, but uh, I remember there were a lot of advertisements for Hawaii. Still? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Still, still. Same, same, yeah. same, you know. Okay. All right. Uh, Saiban, what do you know about Hawaii? Well, unfortunately, I don't know anything, but I just uh, remember when when someone say how I I, I remember he reminds me uh, holiday <laughs> just I know that just the holiday people spent holiday in the Hawaii and this uh, the President Obama prefer to spend his <laughs> holiday in Hawaii I just know that <laughs> I, actually, I actually didn't realize that I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, teacher. He is your your president. It's not my president. Uh, I don't care what he does on his vacation. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's, that, that, that's typical American style. <laughs> I don't give a heck, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't care. I know he likes to golf. I've heard Hawaii has some lovely golf courses, but uh, anyway. Uh, I'd like to welcome Juan. Hello. Juan, welcome to the class. Hello, Mr. Oakley. How are you I'm, doing? I'm good. How have you been? I'm being good. Thank you. Being good or good at Are you being good or are you good at it? <laughs> <laughs> I, try, I try to do both. All right, excellent. Good answer. All right. Uh, we're going to try to talk about Hawaii a little bit today. So, Juan... When you think of Hawaii, what do you think of? Uh, a place I, I wish to to get to uh, know. I have uh, heard <laughs> okay. uh, quite a nice things uh, things about it. Uh, I I think about surf. Surf, yes, surfing, very famous. Surfing or just the surf, the waves. Uh, surfing. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, good music. Hmm. Okay. I don't know about the food. I hope it is good. <laughs> I think it's good. Uh. Okay. Um. All right. Interesting. All right. Now, yes, world class surfing. We prob probably at one time or another we've probably seen people surfing like on TV or in the movies or in a magazine surfing in Hawaii. Definitely. Um, okay, but music. It's interesting you said music. Uh, I think when I think of Hawaii, I think of something very specific as far as music. Uh, wh what do you think of? What? Do you, why did you say music? Well, uh, to be honest, I, I don't know much about, or, or at least, uh -huh. or, or I think anything at all, but there is a, just one song that I have heard, yeah. and I think it is from a Hawaiian guy, that uh, it's like 
uh, I don't know how to call it, something like a, similar to a chick flick, but well, uh, <laughs> I I confess, <laughs> I like it, that song. Okay, all right. Okay. Uh, when I think of Hawaii, this is just me, I, I when I think music, I immediately think of ukulele. Uh, uh, Abdul, do you know what a ukulele is? Mm, no, not really. It's fun to say, ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to say. It's kind of a, like a very simple guitar. It's a lot shorter. It's a smaller. Oh, it's much smaller. Yeah, uh, so it's a musical instrument. It's a musical instrument, a stringed instrument. Um, uh, instruments like uh, like uh, guitar or violin or bass, fiddle, whatever. Right. right. Uh, we call them. Uh, stringed instruments so it's a stringed instrument it's it's a little it's definitely smaller than a guitar and it's it has a unique sound it has a hollow body like a guitar uh, I'm not sure actually how many strings I think it has less strings it's more simple uh, and you generally play strumming like uh, when you play rhythm guitar but if you ever heard uh, Hawaiian music uh, it kind of sounds. I don't know. You 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 hear that ukulele sound. That's that's all I know. What is that? What's Israel Kamakawala Walu? What? Kamakawala Kawala Kawu Hawaii? Like that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Not sure. Well, anyway, when I think of uh, Hawaiian music, I think of that. And the other thing I think of, is there anything you think of, uh, Abdul? When you think Hawaiian um, music? Other, other than music, you mean? No, when you, when you hear Hawaiian music, what do you think of? Uh, just, you know, like... Uh, Music, you know, trying to force you, you know, to think about the nature, you know, to think about, mm -hmm. okay, you know, the the beaches and those things, probably. <laughs> but I'm not a music guy, so I mean, okay, <laughs> all right, all right, okay. What I was, uh, what I was trying to get to, uh, are uh, I, I think about the grass skirts. Right. <laughs> and the the beautiful women dancing with a grass skirt. Uh, Saiban, have you ever seen that? The Polynesian dancer? Yes, I, I tried to uh, play grass school with my friend, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, they have a sort of you a little bit of a I guess it's not probably completely unique. I'm sure there are other places, but anyway, they they dance and they I forget what it's called. They have a special dance where they actually tell a story with their hands, and that's part of the dance. And they dance their grass skirt and they uh, they tell the story yes, with uh, right. yeah with their hands, right? Um, I've seen the visuals, yep. Yeah. Right, right. Okay, uh, great. I'm so glad that uh, this person has joined us. Is it uh, Kako? Keiko? Hello, hello? Hi, teacher. Kako. Hi. Kako. Kako, yes. okay. You have to uh, now explain yourself. I, I find uh, your posts in the verbaling chat very interesting. What are you talking about? What's Is that a s song? Yes, I I have read uh, seen uh, oh, is on YouTube uh, this okay. singer singing oh. that uh, that muse that that song very extremely sweet um, song uh, and uh -huh. then. 
and then he he plays ukulele. 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 <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. So it's an artist. This this is a person's name. As, Israel. as Juan said. As Juan said. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. All right. All as Juan said. All right. Now I get it. It's adding up to me now. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, all right. The the only other artist I know. Hawaiian artist. His name is Don Ho. He was popular. He's old. I mean, probably dead now. He was popular in the 60s and 70s. But uh, anyway, uh, okay, Kako, what do you? Obviously, you you know a famous Hawaiian singer. But what do you think about when you think about Hawaii? What pops into your head? Kako. Okay, teacher. I think about uh, ukulele, the sound of ukulele. Mm -hmm. I think about the the beautiful women, um, the dancing of them. I think about the beautiful beaches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, um, as far as I know. Uh, President Obama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Wow. <laughs> All of you guys know about that. Uh, I'm an Obama American. is I from had... Hawaii. No, no, seriously. No idea. Seriously, okay. he go to Hawaii on a regular basis. I'm okay. telling you. I believe you. I believe. I totally believe you. I just and, think it's funny. All you... The, and the media, and you know, know like the media gave him very extensive coverage, you know, when, whenever he goes there. Mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> the media where you are, not the media where <laughs> I am. Yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, last right. time, you know, I mean, let me tell you this too. You know, last time uh, when, when that crisis was, you know, like to shut down the government or, you know, to provide the funding. Ah, keep yeah. the government running. So he went on vacation to Hawaii. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you know what? Here, Congress and the Senate, you know, they agreed to pass the, uh, the uh, to fund the, uh, to pass a bill to fund the government for the next probably two two three months. So mm -hmm. so once you know the the process is the Congress gonna pass the bill. The, Bill, the Senate gonna pass the bill, and the bill will go to the president, you know, to sign. Right. And he right. was in Hawaii, so he electronically signed that bill from Hawaii, you know. <laughs> so no then kidding. Then, <laughs> huh? No kidding. I did not know that. I mean, I yes. believe you, but wow. Yeah. So he he electronically signed the <sighs> those pages, you know, from Hawaii, you know. So that that oh. was pretty good coverage from media, you know, that the president signed the bill from Hawaii, you know, electronically. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Was he on a, at a golf course when he signed yeah, it? <laughs> he was doing something over there. <laughs> Swimming, you know, golfing. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Dancing. He was dancing with the Hawaiian. <laughs> oh, let me just quickly sign this. Oh, how funny. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, let me ask you this question. Um, Juan. What is a lay? <laughs> Do you know what a lay is, Juan? A lay. Taking, taking selfies. Good one. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, I don't know. No, you don't know. Oh, po okay. Pop quiz. Uh, trivia question. Who can tell me? Sideband. Do, Do you know what a lay is? Uh, no, teacher. I, I, okay, no, remember I this word understand. if you ever play Scrabble. Okay. <laughs> it's great. L E I. It is a word. Uh, Abdul, Kako, do you guys know? Do you, does anybody here know what a lay is? Mm, or do I have to explain? I never heard about this word. Oh, my goodness. Okay, when I think of Hawaii, I think about a lay. It is a a necklace, okay, a necklace who wear on her oh, neck, women right, made right. made of flowers. I I believe yes. orchids, but not positive about that. But yes. anyway, yeah, very very pretty, very beautiful. 
Yes. Uh, right, which is another thing I think about when I think of Hawaii. I think about... Uh, they were when they, uh, when they danced, teacher, I think. That's right. That's absolutely correct. They wear it when they dance, and uh, sometimes they give them out to tourists as a souvenir. Okay. Hi, Rita. Out there in Berlin. Yes. A is the is the pronouncing of the the pronunciation. Neck, the, the neck necklace. necklace. The, yeah, the, made of made of flowers. Specifically, the Hawaiian. Um, look, if I, if I talk about a string of flowers uh, in in any language, I could talk about a garland or a garland of flowers. But specifically, the one they make in Hawaii is called a lei. Yes. Okay, which is another thing that I personally think of when I think of Hawaii. Now, uh, probably you all know this. Um, Saiban, what do you think is the main basis of economy in Hawaii? What is... Uh, what is their economy based on? I'm sure you can make a guess. Dates on teacher. Uh, how do they make money in Hawaii? What is their economy okay. based? What uh, industries or? I think uh, by tourists. I mean, we've been tourists uh, visit Hawaii. It's very uh, confidence. I mean, people uh, uh, feel confidence when they uh, Hawaii, especially. Uh, oh, especially uh, because it, it's in the places that is uh, very hot for for people. I mean, uh, when they 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 want. I mean, they they want a warm warm uh, weather. I mean, warm weather, not hot. I'm sorry, it's not correct. Warm, I think, uh, teacher. Uh, I because yes, like Spanish teacher, uh, Mediterranean. I mean, most of people in Europe uh, they they go to Spanish because it's warm and. Mm. For for people, uh, they like a, a warm area. Maybe Hawaii. It's a good choice for for those people. For, Indeed. For I think yeah, yes, teacher. I I, they, I think they they make money uh, by being the tourist. I think you're right. That is probably that's the um, definitely the main industry is tourism. You're absolutely correct. Um, I think you're trying to say they can be confident in the temperature. Is that what you mean? Yeah, yes, teacher. Counter? Confident with the temperature. Yes. <laughs> I, uh, yes. Please help me, teacher. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, and I, I'm gonna absolutely agree with you because the temperature doesn't vary, uh, doesn't change very much, even in the seasons, and it is reasonable temperatures. Uh, I, in summer, it gets 30, 31 degrees. Um, in the day and then 25 at night and uh, even in the winter it's like 28 degrees and 20 at night still very consistent not much very consistent stable temperatures very pleasant temperatures not not really scorching hot definitely not cold I, um, uh, teacher, I just want to ask you. Uh, I think uh, have you visited Spain before? Uh, Spain? No, yes. I have not been to Spain. Uh, I think uh, it's the same as Spain. Uh, I mean, people uh, like to visit Spain. It's very, very popular place for <laughs> tourists. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely, without a yes, doubt. Teacher. Without a uh, doubt. Yes, teacher. Uh huh. Without a doubt, but you're exactly right. Tourism uh, is on both th points that you made. Tourism is definitely the main main uh, economic stimulator, and uh, the temperature part and a large part of the reason is the temperature is very stable. Uh, Abdul, can you think possibly think of another thing? Industry? What else do we mm. get from Hawaii? Can you make a guess? Um, well, I think the main industry is the tourism, and other than that, mm, uh, no, I don't know anything other than that. 
lava from the volcanoes. <laughs> oh, yeah, volcanoes. I'm kidding. Who, who buys lava? <laughs> Bad. <laughs> no, that's a, that's a terrible joke. Uh, <laughs> No, it's too bad there wasn't an industry for lava because obviously Hawaii, Hawaii and the chain of islands are volcanic islands. They're volcanoes. Right. right. In fact, recently, I don't know if you saw this, there was an, a new island was born, I guess. Are islands born? I suppose so. Anyway, quite recently, in the last month or two. Weird. Came in Hawaii, in, in the chain of islands, and... It, the vol right. a volcano erupted and the lava came out and, and became high enough so that it breached the surface of the ocean. So, there you go. I heard something on, in the news, uh, but I don't know what it was. Probably, probably, probably they were talking about the same thing you were talking about. Probably, yeah. It's part of the Hawaiian chain, which is still growing the Hawaiian chain of islands because the volcanoes are still part of uh, part of a chain of volcanoes that is still active obviously um, okay do, do well, they have a lot of uh, quakes there a lot of <laughs> earthquakes well as you, I'm sure you probably know uh, earthquakes and volcanoes kind of go together hand in hand um, you really don't get one without the other. So probably because they definitely have active volcanoes. I'm making an assumption now. I'm not 100% sure, but it seems highly likely to me. And uh, how about fishing? Fishing. Very good. Yes. Obviously, a group of islands that stretches for 1,500 miles probably has some fishing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. It was just my guess. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They do have a fishing industry, particularly for large um, warm water fish, things like mahi mahi. Mm. Oh no, mahi mahi, snapper, uh, things like that. Um, yes, fishing. Uh, can uh, cacao or or Juan? Can you think of anything else? As far as economy, uh, actually, Hawaii is known as the Aloha State. It also has another nickname, which is dun, dun, dun. sometimes it was used to be called. I don't know if it is anymore. It used to be called the Pineapple State. They have large, large one of the main product of Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah, they have large pineapple plantations. Pineapple, sugar cane. Sugar cane, bingo. You got it. And surprisingly, or surprisingly to to me, as I was researching for the class, uh, I was a little surprised to find out that honey is one of their major exports. Strangely enough. Strange, but not strange. I already commented about the fact that there are many beautiful flowers in Hawaii. Lots and lots of flowers, so I guess that shouldn't surprise me that much, but apparently they do export a lot of honey. Uh, hello, Michael. Greetings. Good morning. Hi, Tisha Oakley. Hi. Nice of, nice of you to join us. Thank we're you. talking. We're talking about Hawaii. Uh, okay. We we kind of talked about some of the stereotypical things that we know about Hawaii when we just think of Hawaii and the economy. Uh, what do you think of when you when you hear Hawaii? What's the first thing that comes to your mind? It's a nice uh, island, group of islands, three islands, mm -hmm. I think, or. Not one, but actually, three. actually, hundreds of oh. islands. There, there are oh, big, like islands. There's like a, about eight, pretty large eight? islands. Okay. There is like uh, Hulu, Hulu, the main island. What is the name of main island? Uh, the big island, Hawaii. Yeah. Which causes some Hawaii? confusion. Yes, because the biggest island has the same name as the state. So often what's people, capital? What is capital? So often people refer to the island 
itself as the big island instead of Hawaii to sort of avoid confusion. The capital is. Does anybody know? Anybody besides me? Honolulu. Honolulu. Oh, okay. You know, so why are you asking me? <laughs> no, but I do not know. I, um, you're absolutely right. I double check. No, no, you're absolutely so, correct. It's Honolulu. Yeah, so, and um, uh, you can uh, arrive there only uh, uh, through United States and only through, like, uh, if you, you're going uh, from Los Angeles, like from California. There is no other planes that would go to Hawaii, from what I know. Only uh, from, I don't think so. Uh, why? Why do I not think so? Well, by coincidence, I have a couple of South Korean students, well, a South Korean family. I tutor the mom and the son. And they, uh, in January, for their New Year's holiday, they went from South Korea to Hawaii. And they had they didn't have a direct flight. They flew to Tokyo to I, I don't know I don't know where somewhere in Japan and then for, straight from Japan to Hawaii. I never had. I uh, read uh, where I read like about Hawaii. It was written that um, uh, you can arrive there only through United States. Uh, other planes there um, you cannot. Uh, there are no international airport airport in Hawaii for Tokyo for these kind of countries. Only uh, you can arrive from uh, California from Los Angeles. Hmm. So you need to go to United States to Los Angeles and there to take a plane to Hawaii. That's all. Hmm. That possibly could have been true in the past, but I really, seriously, it doesn't make have no any idea sense. Why, why she would lie to me? I, so I'm pretty sure that you. No, it doesn't make there. any sense because see, the state yeah. is, you know, the main industry is the tourism. Right. Why would so they make someone from China exactly. fly to California, yeah. fly so, halfway um, back again? Instead yeah. of making, you know, like facilities for tourists, you know, why would they, you know? <laughs> Trying yeah. to create trouble for them, you know. <laughs> and, right. And let me tell you, let me tell you this too. You know, like you might know that the state is in big trouble. You know, the economy is not doing good in state. You know, lots of hmm. people are unemployed. Yeah. You know, people are homeless. So they will, they will want it to come people straight to Hawaii. You know, not going to California or Los Angeles and then come to Hawaii. <laughs> right. Right. And they do very strongly depend on tourism. Um, Here's okay. All right, back economics in Hawaii. Do, do you do you know anything about the economics in Hawaii, uh, Juan? About personal economics, people. Do you know where I'm going with this? Yeah. Um, what kind of uh, jobs are like the most? No, not so no. much that. But I, I, what I'm I'm sorry. I'm being very obsequious. I'm talking around in circles. Let me be more direct. Let me just say it. Uh, Hawaii has one of the highest uh, standards of living. Like, it, it's very expensive to live in Hawaii, which is logical. Um, New York City, Alaska, Hawaii are all very expensive places to live. The worst thing about Hawaii, which I guess is also logical, is um, housing. Uh, what do you think an average house in the United States costs? Kakao, can you you want to make a guess? Let's actually uh, everybody. Let's take a poll. What do you think the average uh, actually, home costs in the U.S.? Actually, I, I share uh, teacher. I share um, I share a house with my friend. They uh -huh. say uh, in Pennsylvania, Scranton. Uh, uh, I share uh, this house, and uh, it costs uh, approximately nine hundred dollar each month uh, with uh, with the heat and uh, electricity and this. But uh, I I looking I search uh, the other apartment, just apartment, not house, not whole house. Right, right. Apartment yeah. uh, on the internet. I search. Uh, they say one single room, one single room. Or maybe two single room. It's uh, probably uh, pr probably about uh, uh, six hundred dollar, I think. Or um, some of mm -hmm. this, uh, some owner uh, offer it to include in everything, and some the other owner 
they say don't offer it anything. So maybe uh, who 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 will rent this apartment? Maybe uh, should should the rent uh, should they pay everything for himself? So in in Sikranton, I don't know uh, the the. <laughs> The uh, price on on the other uh, s uh, s state. Okay, so uh, right, you're talking about rent and those prices. You're you're saying they sound right to me. They sound exactly correct. I think uh, just you know because of the English, I think you're saying some landlords, people that own a rest uh, own a restaurant, own a uh, apartment, uh, just just want the rent. Uh, they do not include utilities. You have to pay utilities. Utility, yeah, yeah. Utilities, yes, water, yes, electric. Yes, utilities. Yeah, yes, I, I, I'm disposal. sorry. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I, I, I forget utilities, yes. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Okay. Um, but that, that sounds about right for, for rent. And, yeah, absolutely. But does anybody have any clue? Would anyone hazard a guess? meaning take a chance and try to guess. Would anyone like to hazard a guess how much the average home in the United States, lower 48, not counting Hawaii and Alaska? $200,000, average home, $200,000. Uh, nope. $150,000. 150. And uh, I have 200000 200000 I have 150000 150000 in the Costa Rican, whatever, 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 whatever. Sorry. <laughs> Excited there. <laughs> to twenty, to twenty thousand. Final. No, no, no. Actually, we should. We need to go down. We're up. Well, we're up a little yeah, too high. Yeah, there are some states, states. You know, where houses are pretty cheap. That's true. Yeah. And uh, we're we're including. Uh, you have to look at both sides. You're including, you know, little mansions, and but you're also including like uh, trailers. You can, you can <laughs> go to. A, in the United States, you can go to a state where you can buy, you know, a good house for twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> That's true. Out in the middle of nowhere, right? Right. So there, <laughs> uh, no, but you're absolutely right. There's a wide yeah. range. But exactly. uh, the point is, okay, I won't leave you in suspense anymore. The point is, in the United States, average home is a hundred nineteen thousand, one one nine, a hundred twenty thousand, basically. For a home, uh, average, totally average. Obviously, there's extremes on either end. However, in Hawaii, you can double that. The average price of a home is two hundred and forty thousand dollars. It's not that the homes are bigger or nicer or anything like that. It's property costs a fortune in Hawaii, which Okay, I watched uh, right. last week. I watched uh, a TV program, and there was a guy from the United States. He mm. his company is uh, constructing uh, is a company that constructs uh, like uh, uh, fuel uh, not fuel uh, consume energy free homes in the United States, like homes that doesn't consume at all uh, don't consume consume at all like energy, Ga okay. uh, gas or whatever like, like green. What they call green construction? Um, I don't know. It's so much green, but the idea that uh, uh, you don't need to pay any bill uh, utilities, like uh, for that home. So he said, like uh, the average uh, cost of home in the United States is two hundred thousand dollars, and his like home is about uh, three hundred thousand uh, dollars. So like. Mm -hmm. He gave a com comparison. I don't know why he said like, like that, but he said $200,000. Um, okay, well, I can't be sure. I'm, I'm, I got information off Wikipedia, so who knows? Maybe maybe he's wrong, maybe I'm wrong. I'm not positive. I'm not 100% positive. He's from North Carolina, I think. <laughs> the prices, uh, as Ab Abdul noted, the prices are extremely different in different places. A lot different. You know, obviously, property in Manhattan <laughs> compared to <laughs> property in the mountains of North Carolina are, are going to be extremely different. So, I don't know. Not sure, but what I am sure of is the, the fact that I do know that uh, in Hawaii, uh, that property... The big house crisis. Yeah. 
Uh, it has an extremely dense population. There's not many people. Hawaii only has like a million people total. But they are, they have, I think, not sure about this, either the most dense or one of the most dense populations. That means people per square kilometer. Okay. Right. Largest number of people. So they're running out of space. Well, they're on islands, so this is very logical. So, um, property and, like, rent. I can't, you know, um, Pennsylvania, Saibon is talking about paying 600 to $900 for an apartment, 600 for a single room, 900 for a double room. It sounds completely believable and logical to me. I, I, absolutely, I totally sounds right. If you were in New York City or if you were in Hawaii, you're going to be paying double, you know, minimum. New York City's crazy. You get an apartment, and you're paying two, two thousand, two thousand five hundred. Same in Hawaii. Hawaii has the same problem. Um, anyway, very expensive uh, to live there. And speaking about uh, airports and uh, communication. So mm -hmm. the idea that uh, you can arrive to Hawaii, as, as you said, from Japan, from uh, New Zealand, South Korea, tai Taiwan, Australia, but from Europe you cannot. That's why uh, maybe I said like that because from ah. Europe you cannot arrive. From Europe. Well, that would that would make that would be logical. Sure. Kind of weird though. I guess it would be logical. I don't know. So from Japan you can direct. Yeah, because Japan and Hawaii are, you know, not that far away, really. Uh, just, just to hop across the pond, as we say. Okay. Uh, all right. What, do we know anything? Does anybody know anything about... Kakao, what do you think people eat in Hawaii? Or can you make any guesses? Um, the cuisine. I, I suppose. I suppose they eat. They eat fish. I suppose fish are abundant there. I suppose yeah. they eat vegetables, salads. Um. Um. Wild, wild fruits. Um. And they drink uh, many many types of uh, of uh, um, I I am not uh, remembering the okay. I am not remembering uh, the name of the uh, the combination of of drink the alcoholic drink with fruit. Um, <laughs> can you? Uh. Oh, okay. Are you talking about specific types of drinks? Cocktails. 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 Okay. All yeah. right. All right. The, in general, cocktails. Yeah. Cocktails. Yeah. Fruity drinks. Yes. Yeah, so if I imagine Hawaii, I, I imagine <laughs> fruity drinks, the kind with the umbrella, the tiny paper yeah. umbrella. <laughs> piece of fruit yeah. sticking out the side. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. True enough. Well, uh, Hawaii is very much a multicultural place. It's east meets west, America meets Asia. So there are many, many Japanese and Filipinos and Chinese people in Hawaii, as well as European people of European descent, as well as um, Polynesians from Oceania, the, the native population. So you actually, there's a great great big mix of different kinds of food um, there's all kinds of food but yeah absolutely uh, features a lot of fish and a couple of the famous things uh, it's uh, Hawaii uh, do you know does anybody here know what a luau is I do not know how to spill this Okay, I'm just going to, I think it's L-U-A-U, -U, but could be wrong. Anyone ever heard of a luau? Juan, have you ever heard of a luau? I have heard uh, this word. 
I imagine uh -huh. that I imagine that it it means um, a social party that is held on night at night. Ah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it is a big party, and the thing I think it it is at night because I think it lasts a long time. Um, one of the central features of this very specifically Hawaiian type of party, a luau, is they will take a whole pig and they will put coals in the ground, like on the beach in the sand or whatever, line it with rocks and put the pig in the hole and then put rocks on fire and rocks, pig and rocks and sand and just bury it for like 24 hours. It's called a pig roast. And they fill the pig with, uh, I don't know what, fruits and vegetables and whatever. And you dig it up like a day later and eat it. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, Luau is famous to have a, for uh, the pig roast, roasting a pig. Um, anyway, that's a famous food. Another famous food is something called, let's see if anybody knows this, something called that they, uh, actually my South Korean friends who just got back from there told me they ate this every day, that this was everywhere. They traveled all through the islands, and uh, this is uh, basically everywhere. Yeah, it's a white rice with a uh, hamburger patty, a fried egg, and a brown gravy, yeah? Yeah, that's it. Um, amazing. How did you How did you know that? Did you look I it up? I googled that. Yeah, you googled it. <laughs> One oh. second to me. One second. Okay, that's right. Apparently, I've never heard of this before. Uh, a couple weeks ago, but apparently, this is everywhere. Like every restaurant in Hawaii has this, and people eat it usually for breakfast, but all times of the day. Very simple. A burger and an egg and uh, and rice. Actually, uh, looks in, in, simple. very simple looks. <laughs> yeah. Look now on the phone. Yeah. And actually, I I live in the Philippines, so it's the it sounds very normal to me. Here in the Philippines, they have rice for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, constantly, uh, every day, every meal, and um, they often have like. Uh, Rice and a fried egg and a hamburger, or rice and a fried egg and a hot dog for breakfast. Very common here, <laughs> which is a little weird for me. But but hey, okay, Lokomoko, Luau, uh, Kalua Pig. <laughs> okay. Um, does uh, anybody here know? Well, okay, let's try something else. If you went to Hawaii, what would you like to do? What is something you would like to do? What is an activity you'd like to try in Hawaii? Uh, Saiban? Saiban? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes, what, would teacher. You, what activity would you like to try in Hawaii if you went there? Uh, yes, to uh, play soccer on beach. I really like <laughs> Soccer on the oh, beach. Oh, soccer on the beach. Oh, okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, oh, right. And uh, b uh, basketball on beach. It will be very amazing, <laughs> teacher. Basketball on the beach? <laughs> yes. Wait. I mean, oh, sorry, no, volleyball. Sorry, sorry. Volleyball, okay. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I, I forget. <laughs> yeah, basketball would be very challenging. No, no, not Who point volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> volleyball teacher, yeah, Difficult volleyball on the dribble. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, Juan's gone. Hopefully, he'll be back later. All right. Beach volleyball. Yes. I live in the Philippines. I whenever I go to the beach, I end up playing volleyball. It's fun. I like it. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Uh, Michael, if you went to Hawaii, what activity or activities would you like to try? To see seaside, uh, to see uh, like, uh, yes, yeah, seaside or ocean side. Sure. So ocean side or seaside? How do you say? Either, either one. Um, 
either one is perfectly okay. Uh, Oceanside, Seaside, the beach. Um, depends where you, a little bit it's col colloquial. Uh, if you're in the east coast of the United States, they call it the shore. <laughs> you're going to the Jersey Shore, for example. So it's a, there's many words to describe it, the coast. Yeah. Uh, more in the west, but they're all equally valid. Doesn't matter. Seaside to lie seaside. on the beach, to lie on the beach, I would lie on the beach there, and they would travel uh, on the uh, on the island because. Uh, but I, uh, actually, I uh, traveled on Hawaii. Okay. On you Google, have uh, Google Maps. Go Google oh, Maps. Oh, Google Maps. <laughs> Google uh, okay. Google Street View. Sorry. So uh, it's quite uh, like uh, realistic, and uh, on the roads you go, 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 and you see like uh, so it's a, it's kind of beautiful place. And I would travel like on, on the main island in the interior, like on like um, in the middle. How would they say that? Not seaside, but through the island, something like that. Ah, okay. All right. Uh, I okay. Are, we actually have a word or a phrase for that. You go island hopping, which many people do in Hawaii when they come here where I live, in uh, or Philippines or Indonesia. Chains of islands. You go island hopping. You go from one island to another. Sure. Uh, okay. Sounds good. All right, a little hanging out on I the would beach, move a little there. I would little move island there, hopping. Please. You would. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure I could afford to move there. All right. Uh, hi, Rita. Again. Uh, Kako. If you went to Hawaii, what would you like to try? What activities would you like to try? Sorry. I would I would like to go to the beaches. I would like to to eat the different ki uh, kinds of foods and to see the beautiful women. Women. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that an activity? <laughs> sure it is. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, very good. What do you do when you go to the beach, Kako? Do you just hang out, and read a book? Do you? Uh, are you like? Uh, uh, are you like Saban? Do you play volleyball or um, soccer, or do you play do water sports, surfing or snorkeling, swimming? Kako, what do you do I, I, at the beach? Sorry, you broke up. Could you repeat that? Swimming. Swimming? Yeah. Okay. All right. Are you a good but, swimmer? But there, but there in Hawaii, I think there are many, many high waves. I think uh, you're right. Yeah. Good for, for surf. Uh, sure. Good to surf. Um, and, and then... Uh, people that like to practice this, is, I think that there there is a paradise for it. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. I, I imagine. I think so. I think you're right, from what I've uh, heard and seen. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, Abdul, how about yourself? If you uh, if you somehow won a trip to Hawaii, what would you like to do there? What activities are... There is nothing much to do over there, just to go, you know, see different beaches, you know? Yeah. Well... And... Okay. Uh, Let and me... Like I said, I don't have, you know, enough information about the state, so... All I right. would like to see, you know, like a couple, you know, websites, you know, to to sure. get the information, you know what to do if you well, go over there, like tourist information websites, you know? Sure, absolutely. Do some research before you travel. Yeah. Always a good idea. Well, I'll tell you what I would like to do. I would like to... Uh, I would like to... I love to hike. I would love to hike a volcano. I would love... <laughs> 
I would love to hike. Uh, they have many beautiful, of course, volcanic mountains. I this is I know I live in the Philippines. Volcanic mountain mountains tend to be very steep, as opposed to big and fat. They're they're like this because they're this a volcano, so they're very steep, very hard to hike. But anyway, because they're so steep, there are uh, a number of very beautiful waterfalls in Hawaii. Exactly. Yes. So I would love to. I I love waterfalls. I think they're so beautiful. Well, I'd love to swim. <laughs> yeah. I'd go find myself some waterfalls. Uh, I would love to a, a recent activity that uh, people are taking up, or, or that people uh, not just in Hawaii, but it sort of started in Hawaii with tourists. I don't know if you guys have seen this. They have a the guys have like a jet pack. It shoots out water, and you kind of. You're in the water, but you kind of fly. You have a jetpack yeah, like uh, James Bond, 007, and you kind of fly around. <laughs> it's it's not eco-friendly. You pollute the water, so. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. maybe. Really? I don't know. I don't know about that. Anyway, I'd love to. I still. I want to try it. Okay, I put. I put uh, two links in the chat. Uh, okay. Was uh, average uh, price. Uh, Average like uh, sales price of home, of used, not used, uh, like existing and new. Okay. Types of home you can oh, see wow. like so, the price. Oh, so two it's links. Changed, it's for changed you. a lot in reality. Oh my God! But I would agree. So uh, no wonder it's that we're disagreeing. We're talking about a span of only not a year and a half. It's changed dramatically. 25%. So it's not surprising. Okay. Somebody needs to uh, update Wikipedia, I guess. But anyway. 200,000. Wow. I, I know, but if you look a year and a half ago, it was 150. So that's pretty shocking for a year and a half. Would you, you have to agree with that? So it's, it explains to me why Wikipedia might be uh, out of date. <laughs> Definitely, but if that's true, I I probably I'm going to guess that probably Hawaii has also gone up by the same amount. So, Four hundred thousand in Hawaii. Well, well, there you go. <laughs> Half same a million. It, it, no, I think yeah. I think I didn't look. But it, oh, you didn't look. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but probably I wouldn't be at all surprised. Um, anyway, uh, those are some things I would do. I would also go to the observatory, famous uh, observatory. In Hawaii, you can uh, apparently, if you hike up there, they'll actually let you look through one of those giant telescopes at the stars. Uh, I think it's in Mauna Loa. Uh, I'm not sure, but there's a very famous observatory there. I would love to check that out. Lots of things to do. Okay, uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me talking about Hawaii today. I have to go because I've got to start another verbling class in just a minute. So thank, thank you very you. much. Take care. Thank you. Take care. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.